everybody. Welcome to another one of my uh, practical play guides. Today I'm going to be working on uh, nether portals. And I'm especially interested in getting nether portals without uh, fancy stuff. So I'm going to show you how to do this from a vanilla Minecraft uh, from the spawn, from beginning. So here I'm going to start with a seed, CXED0441. And... Um, here we are. Uh, first thing that's kind of funny here is uh, I'm, right away I need to, you know, get this tree punched down just like, you know, that's what my, you do in Minecraft is you punch trees. But look at the block lag. So I'm in kind of a hurry because I'm, I want to show you this from the beginning, from the absolute, uh, you know, beginning point so that nothing is taken for granted. So you don't have to say, oh, but I don't have a silk touch whatever or a diamond pick or whatever. Um uh, I was kind of inspired to do this by Assuma Void's uh, really great video, which I'll link in the description. And he he had the same problem that I did, which is you know how to make these Nether portals without uh, having a diamond pickaxe and without having being able to move obsidian around. You're gonna have to use lava buckets and stuff. So, what are the you know what is the the optimal way? And so he came up with a really excellent way. But I thought you know I I think I can come up with a better way. So that's what I'm gonna show you here. Um, so this first stuff here that, that you're seeing is just, you know, uh, very normal stuff if you're starting from the absolute beginning. So you can see that I punch down three logs. I make with that eight sticks. From that I make uh, one wooden uh, pick, and here I am making a stone pick. Uh, right away I um, come down here and get some iron. Yeah, I should say the seed. The seed is CXED0441. And... Yeah, I I know this seed. I've I've I noticed that this is this is ideal because not only does it have the iron, but it also has some coal as you see. And here I'm going to get eight pieces of cobblestone because I need to make a furnace. So all this goes really pretty quick. Like I say, it's all quite normal. But I'm showing you these steps so that nothing is taken for granted. You can see every single requirement that goes into getting into the nether. This is the absolute minimum of what you must do if you want to get to the nether. Um, so while I'm waiting for this iron to uh, to cook down, I make a shovel real quick and then I pop over here to this gravel and I'm looking for, can we find one? Usually, there we go. <laughs> Usually it goes a little quicker than that, but I need this for uh, lighting the portal eventually. So here's my iron. Let's go ahead and make this right now. Okay, how's the iron doing? Looks good. So of course you need these four iron, one for the um, for the flint and steel and three for the buckets. Now that I've made the bucket, I am ready to go. So I have basically these very minimal things that are necessary. I need a bucket and a flint and steel, uh, really. that's That's about it. And again, like I say, I know this this area. I've explored this thoroughly, um, so I'm I'm choosing this location not by accident. If you know, obviously, this may take longer if you're just wandering around looking for all of the uh, perfect situation and the perfect materials. But I show I chose this seed because it it works out real well. So here we are, finally to the beginning of actually uh, making the Nether portal. And as you see, I jump up three blocks. And then I go up to the side and I make a line of four and then one like that so that it's like a big C shape. And then I put two in the back. Then I go underneath those two in the middle and put two on the bottom and then get rid of these two. And that's it. I think that's pretty much the top done. So now I take out the pillar and dig this trench four long with two uh, in the middle being too deep. And I stick a bucket of water right there. And that's it. That's, that's the entire thing that... Um, you know, Assumavoid was doing with a slightly different technique. Um, I think my technique is a little quicker in open areas and certainly has some other advantages, like you only need one bucket of water. All right, so that wasn't too bad to find a source of lava, but this is going to be a little irritating. Just hang in there. Um, the first one, just dump in the bottom. Okay, number two. The second one, put right next to it. So these are the two bottom-most ones. All right, 
right, so here comes the third one. The third one you want to put on the side away from the stream, all right? And that, that should actually have some water flowing in it from the ones you put in on the bottom, okay? It, it's, I'm going very quickly here because I'm kind of going for time, but um, you can see that it, it, it's a lot, it's pretty obvious when you're actually doing it. So then, then the, this, that fourth one goes on the right, and then this fifth one and the sixth one, you just start working up the column of water. There you go, there's number five. Yeah, sometimes it can be really irritating to, to pick up lava, you, you know, when you've picked up some already. So there's six. Now, number seven is kind of interesting because number seven, I'm going to divert the flow of water over to the other side. So there's number seven, and notice how the water starts flowing in a different direction. Um, the sumovoid was careful to not have water flow all over the place to put out, you know, to, to turn all his lava sources into obsidian. This technique is also the same. It, it's very careful about that. Um, so here we have, um, I think this is going to be number eight. No, oh, this is number nine. And we have one more, so this is it. Okay, there we go. I knew there was one down here. All right, so this is the final one. Make sure you place it right, and that's it. Get your flint and steel out, light it, and you are done. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You can see that it's five minutes, uh, five and a half minutes basically. So it's about 333 seconds, as I as I said earlier. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's what it looks like. So I hope you found this helpful. And uh, when you're in a hurry to make a nether portal, maybe this will, uh, will be a handy technique. If you have any improvements or any suggestions or think of anything interesting to say about it, please leave a comment. Until next time, uh, have fun in the nether.